So this video is on how to back up cPanel to Amazon AWS S3. And the reason why you want to do that is, well, in my case, um, I was having local backups and um, it is it, it gets pretty expensive because you, you have to keep upgrading in order to have enough uh, uh, data storage. And that doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. Um, so uh, Amazon S3 is really, really good for that. But the problem with Amazon AWS in general is that their API um, and the credentials could be a lot simpler. There's several different protocols, if you will, um, for user permissions. One is the a uh, ACL, which is the, their legacy way, and the other is uh, IAM, um, which is the uh, the preferred way. Um, but the problem is that with the permissions, the the way it works is first it kind of goes through um, are there any explicit denies and then it goes through are there uh, like where are they allowed so basically you know picture a Venn diagram you have all, like different um, uh, so so only the, the place that it intersects in the Venn diagram are basically what you're allowed to do so it kind of creates a situation where um, you, you can basically get denied access uh, very easily if um, if you're not you know necessarily that familiar with Amazon AWS uh, their platform in general which um, uh, where you know I'm slowly moving to using some of their services but uh, basically this this took me a little bit of time to, to figure out how to uh, do this um, so within uh, your uh, WHM you want to go to uh, backup configuration and all of this stuff you can configure it however you want uh, the most important thing is scroll all the way down here you'll see Amazon s3 click on create new destination and this is just like a name so I'm just gonna put uh, for this one uh, demo account and um, you can just leave this alone so we're gonna go back here to AWS and I'm just gonna type in s3 um, so we can uh, you know, create a uh, a bucket. A bucket is basically like it, it's a container to, that will, um, <laughs> um, the bucket. Well, what's preferred is like for everything that your every website or every app or whatever you're using for should have its own bucket, basically. So in this case, I'm going to type in a uh, uh, demo a demo bucket. Um, okay, very very important. I made this mistake, and uh, if you so if if you start typing and let's say I I put a dash right like oh like uh so I saw this and I was like oh okay maybe I shouldn't use a dash so I'll use a period um you know that was kind of what changed the original for me and then that allowed me to actually read what it said what the error said so long story short that w basically i had a, a period in the beginning the only problem with this is it, it works fine on the amazon system but it's going to cause an error er like it's just not going to work on um whmc panel so do not use period use a dash uh and um, I would just like leave this as the default because some locations cost a little bit more than others and if you're using it just for backup I guess it doesn't really matter anyways um, and I'm just gonna click on next uh, so over uh, over here um, just go ahead and like uh, check off this just just because uh, you're, you're I mean I guess you don't have to check off this but for you know the managed group permissions just like check everything and if if I'm doing this totally wrong uh, just let me please let me know in the comments below uh, if this is not the right way but from my understanding ACL permissions um, like the, the permissions are going to be managed by their the IAM uh, mechanism uh, or protocol or whatever you call it so just enable everything with on the ACL side um, and then I'm just gonna click on create bucket okay cool so after I've created the bucket I can you know then now uh, copy the bucket name here just highlighting that part 
Um, but doesn't matter. I'm just gonna go like that. And for the folder, uh, it doesn't really matter, but you can just like put C panel. Okay, the access uh, key um, and uh, secret access key. So over here to uh, to to um, set that. Basically, next, uh, what you want to do is you want to uh, click on to here, and then we're gonna type in IAM. And um, once you're on this page, then um, note there's groups, users, and uh, policies. So uh, I'm going to uh, add a user, and uh, I'm going to name this user uh, demo demo user. Okay. And I'm just going to check uh, this. And next. Um, so I have this group here, which I can you know, add the permissions, but uh you know i'll i'll show you how how to do it uh from i guess scratch if you will so i'm just going to create uh, or click on create user and uh after that i may i'm a, i'm going to delete this anyway so it doesn't really matter um let me copy this into here copy this into here and i i'm just going to copy this again and stick it into notepad because um if I lose it, I have to deactivate and create a new one. Oh, I should probably double check that. Okay, cool. Um, so at this point, I'm just gonna click on close. This user like has like no permission. So what you want to do is go to policies, um, and uh, type in like uh, S3, and then uh, under Amazon S3 for access, click on click into that, and then under uh, attach entities, click into that. Uh, click on attach and then you can attach the uh, user um after you've done that um let's see what's anything else um okay let me let's try this let's see if this works first cool that's pretty much it um so uh after so so this in a nutshell is how you would well, I guess it's not really a nutshell. I mean, it's a, it's just like a seven-minute video. But uh, that's how you would configure uh, Amazon S3 to uh, be your remote backup for uh, cPanel WHM. Again, very, very important. I like did not didn't like realize this, but do not use periods in your uh, in, in the uh, um, name of the bucket. Do not use periods. Only use uh, dashes. Um, and that's pretty much it. Hopefully you found this video helpful, and if you ha if you have, uh, be sure to uh, like this video, um, subscribe to my channel, uh, and if you um, if you run a small business and you want press, uh, my company is PressReleaseJet.com. Uh, we pretty much are like you're not going to get a better deal on press releases. Um, for example, we we share the same uh, Newswire partners as PR Newswire. They charge seven hundred dollars. Or seven hundred seventy-five dollars with a minimum commitment of ten press releases, um, and uh, we are able to offer the same service for ninety-nine dollars. So check it out, pressreleasejet.com. Um, if you want to, uh, um, well, not only uh, will it benefit me because it's uh, it, it's it's my company, but um, like legitimately, like like this is like the best deal. It, you're gonna get the highest ROI, uh, just period, because it's the same thing that. PR News Y offers for seven hundred seventy five dollars, uh, and and that you have to commit to ten, uh, press ten of those. So you know, um, so check that out. Uh, anyways, hope you found this video helpful.